no one, no band could ever sound like the Imagine Village because they don't have the Imagine Village's members. I think we're all able to put in our tents to make, to compile a sound together. So it's prog folk funk, really, that we're looking at. Prog folk funk. Ripping it. Uh, the idea for finding a new album was to make as live an album as we could. All our previous albums, in fact near enough every album I've made for the last 30 years of my life, you write the music, you record it, then you go out on the road and play it. Uh, in this case we did it the other way around. Tracks evolved on stage, we gigged them first and then we laid them down, so they came together in a very natural way. It was just a better way to construct the album and a better way to rep for the imaginability to be represented more equally, I think. It's quite a departure in the sense that it's not, it's not kind of a reworkings of trad stuff. We are all, in our own way, writers and composers, so we wanted this album to be original compositions. And if we were going to do traditional stuff, we wanted to put those in a very contemporary context. I think it is important to write new material. I mean, you can't, you, you, you can't survive on old stuff alone. Going into areas where I'm slightly familiar and enormously sympathetic and then going somewhere else where I know nothing about it at all. A lot of bands have been together a long time. They get tend to finish each other's sentences. And we're not <laughs> but we're not in that stage <laughs> because we can awesome. still surprise each other. <laughs> <laughs>